all-out war with North Korea. A real possibility being put forth tonight by a key member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham told NBC's Today Show, President Trump told him there will be war with North Korea if Kim Jong-un's regime continues on its path of threatening America with its missile program. Graham says Trump discussed the possible casualties with him. If there's going to be a war to stop him, it will be over there. If thousands die, they're going to die over there. They're not going to die here. And he's told me that to my face. Graham says no one wants a war, but says the president has more of a responsibility to protect the American homeland than the region around North and South Korea. General James Spider Marks, who led U.S. military intelligence in South Korea, says Senator Graham's remarks don't help the situation. What Senator Graham is saying is that a whole host of those folks are going to die. That's a message that we do not have to remind the South Koreans of. They know that. It's unfortunate that he said it. Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, who's on the Intelligence Committee, told MSNBC there's more to the danger than Senator Graham seems to realize. My reaction is that Lindsey Graham should get a classified briefing like the ones I have had and sit down with um, Secretary Mattis, which I have done. President Trump's defense secretary recently issued a dire warning about armed conflict on the Korean Peninsula. It will be a war uh, more serious in terms of human suffering than anything we have seen since 1953. Uh, it will involve uh, the massive shelling of an ally's capital, which is one of the most densely packed cities on Earth. It would be a serious, uh, it would be a catastrophic war. Kim Jong-un has a million-man army and has bolstered his infantry and artillery near the DMZ. The Pentagon says much of those forces are in underground bunkers, ready to fire on Seoul at the first whiff of an attack by the U.S. The number of missiles that they have that they could launch into South Korea, they could cause a lot of damage. There are about 28,000 U.S. troops in the region. Experts say the U.S. and South Korea would win that war but some studies project tens of thousands of people killed in the first couple of days. It would be a very nasty fight. The maneuver forces from the United States and South Korea moving into the north would encounter barriers, a very tough foe. Uh, they have been there forever, so they know the terrain. The Pentagon is not commenting tonight at all on Senator Graham's remarks. A White House official would not comment directly on what Senator Graham said, but told us the president often consults with members of Congress for their input and said the president is committed to using economic and diplomatic means to get North Korea to change course. Now, on the criticism that Senator Graham is receiving, an aide to Graham told us it is worth pointing out that General James Marks, who we interviewed for this story, was a supporter of Hillary Clinton during the campaign which General Marks says is irrelevant.